want to tell you a little bit more about body language because I know I'm all over the place in this and I write articles that go along with each one, but man, I got no idea how I'm going to write an article that go with 49 or 50. So maybe these ones are just going to be for my brothers and sisters on Facebook and YouTube. I don't know. But another uh, body language thing. Actually, I'm not going to teach you that body language thing. <laughs> I know that's a bit of a tease, but this one, I, no, no, okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it for you because we've been through 50 episodes together. Watch for little things called micro expressions, okay? Micro expressions can be hard to track because they're micro. They happen really fast. There's a show on Fox called Lie to Me that comes on, and they do with micro expressions, and the stuff that they're teaching is actually legit. So it's really cool. If you want to learn how to do this, watch the show Lie to Me because it's great. But people will do little things. Like when they're saying something they really believe in, they'll do this. They'll nod slightly while they're talking. Or if they're saying something they don't really believe, they'll shake their head no, even though they're saying it. If I'm like, wow, you know, I have to say that George Bush was absolutely the best president this country's ever had. He was so fantastic, I cannot believe all the wonderful things he did for this country. See? Watch. Watch people do it. Watch when they talk. Watch when they kind of are just like, yes, I mean, hey, I'm a Barack Obama supporter. You have the ability to disagree with him. I'm fine if you disagree with him. It's totally okay. I love the guy, right? Watch what people do, okay? Now, I have to say, as I watch these videos of myself, it's weird, because sometimes I notice I shake my head no when I'm saying things I really mean. So, that's why I didn't want to share it with you, because sometimes it looks like I'm disagreeing with myself when I swear I mean it, but I don't know. <laughs> But 9 out of 10 times this works. Same as anything that I've shown you with the body language stuff, though. Oh, hey, do you see this? Look what I'm doing. See me rubbing my head? It's that unconscious grooming response we were talking about before. See, I have to be careful not to do this type of stuff when I'm on camera, but I want you to see it. I started to feel a little bit nervous, like I looked awkward, and so I unconsciously tried to make myself more presentable for you. Even I do it. And I can tell you for certain, it's much, much easier to learn how to read it in somebody else than to stop yourself from doing it, because it's human. You can't help it, okay? Um, so, a <laughs> little detour in, in the body language there. So, yeah, watch when people talk. Oh, but like anything, calibrate on them first. Observe them a few times. You know, make sure they really do this, and make sure they really do that when they mean it. Because some Indians do, like, this weird thing with their head, because that means yes. You know, so so there are some cultural nuances, because like always, I don't want you to watch somebody and be like, hey, do you love me? And they're all like, hmm, what? And you're all like, you know? <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't do that. Just pay attention. And I'm, there was, I'm doing it again. See, now I'm very self-conscious, so now I want to do it more because I'm trying not to. So, watch for that. Um, wow, what else? It's been, a, it's been a good ride. By the way, you know, I, I take requests also. You can send me any question of any kind to formspring.me, like me, forward slash B. Dave Walters. Formspring.me forward slash B. Dave Walters. If there's any questions you want me to answer, if there's anything you want me to do a video on, anything about relationships, spirituality, or anything, send me a question. Okay, and I will do it for you. Because like I said, I take requests. And also, I plug myself in 49. I'm going to plug myself again. My website, peacelovemoney.com. Okay, um, we got books, podcasts, PDFs. My coaching uh, services are up there and everything. And actually, you know what I want? I'm going to show you something else that can be painful to do, but it actually is very therapeutic. If there's something that you're not sure of about yourself, like maybe you're having difficulty getting a date or something like that, and you're not sure why you're having trouble getting a date, ask your friends why you're having trouble getting a date. If you're not getting promoted at work, ask your boss why you haven't been getting pr uh, promoted at work. It can hurt, but it's good. You have to be able to expose yourself to criticism in order to be able to grow. So now I'm going to ask you for some. So, there is my website, peacelovemoney.com, and I can tell you, my book sales have been good, and my, you know, signing new coaching clients and things of that nature, it's all been good, but it's not growing at the extent that I would like. I'm not getting as many people on Facebook as I'd like, not getting as many people on Twitter as I'd like, even though I have a very loyal following that is growing, it's not growing as fast as I want. So, here's my question to you. Why is that? Why do you think that is? You can either message me on Facebook, or MySpace, YouTube, Twitter, anywhere else, or you can send it to formspring.me forward slash bdavewalters because then you can tell me anonymously. So, why do you think it is 
or better how can I improve if I want to sell more books if I want to sell more uh, my coaching products and things because it is how I make a living it's true if I want to have more coaching clients more friends more followers more fans what should I be doing different you can tell me give me your honest blunt feedback you cannot hurt my feelings tell me the truth because if you're watching this you care about me and that means I care about you Actually, I care about you even if you weren't watching it but if you're not watching it you didn't hear me tell you I care about you so I love you and I love them so tell me what can I be doing better okay so back to what we're going to talk about now you know if there's anything that I want you to take from all of this, if there's anything that I want you to take from our conversations and from the articles and from all these things that I do and all this time that we've spent together, there are two things. Three things, really. One, I love you. I truly, truly love you. Two, God loves you. Our creator who sent you here to be you in this place, in this time, in this way, loves you, and is with you, and is here for you, in all times, in all places. All you have to do is open yourself up to that, and it is there. And the third thing is, you are good enough. You are great, and I love you. You're fantastic. You're fantastic. You got everything you need. You got everything you need to go after what it is that you want in this life, okay? It's just one step at a time, one foot in front of the other. And it can be scary sometimes. I know it can be scary sometimes. It's scary for me. It is scary. It's scary for everybody. Here's the thing. Courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is feeling the fear and doing it anyway. Okay? It's not always easy to, you know, put myself out here like I do with these videos and the things I do. You know, I say controversial stuff. I say big stuff. Right? And it offends some people sometimes. Actually, to tell you the truth, you know what hurts me worse than somebody disagreeing with me? It hurts me worse if I get ignored. If I try and do something and I get little to no response, that bothers me. Okay? Because if I'm not careful, if I don't get a response, then the frame that I put on it is that something's wrong or I'm not good enough. Right? Now, the fact is, I'm aware of this, so I reframe it. I reframe it to the fact that people are busy. They are. Or I reframe it to the fact that lots of people like what I do, but they just don't say anything for whatever reason. Maybe they just don't have anything to say. Or maybe they don't have time. Or, or maybe they mean to and, and are going to come back later. Or the fact is that even if I, have, I reach a, a small audience of people, but make a really truly meaningful contribution to their life, then that's enough. Which, by the way, let me say here, because I said in episode 49, I am competing for my own show on Oprah's Network. I'll try to put a link in here, but I think you can probably Google it or find it on my Facebook fan page or on my profile where you can go and vote for me. So vote multiple times on multiple days. It's fine. You can vote many times. I don't know what the limit is. Um, tell your friends. Get them to vote too. If you're not a U.S. resident, you can't vote, unfortunately, but you can leave a comment. So I'm asking everybody to leave comments because the producers are going to read the comments. Hopefully they'll see lots of people saying lots of nice things, and that will help give my audition submission a little extra weight. So I appreciate that. You're great. I love you. You're fantastic. I'm not done yet. i got like a minute left. Okay? So how are you? Good? Good. Glad we had this time together. Glad we had these 50 episodes. It's been 50. I guess I'm going to look up one day and it's been 500. Again, hopefully by the time it gets to 500, I will have transitioned into television. Because I'm not going to give up. And that's the last thing that I want to leave you with. You know, people ask me how it is that I do so many different things. It's because I keep doing different things because you got to plant a lot of seeds so that something can blossom. Never give up. Never give up. Never, ever, ever give up. Okay? Figure out your bliss and follow it. If you need help, I will help you. You can find me on PeaceLoveMoney.com. I'll become your coach. We'll work together every day. Okay? But never give up on you. Because I'm never going to give up on you. So, this is not the end. This is just the beginning. Find me anywhere. Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, YouTube, FormSpring.me. All of those at B. Dave Walters. You're great and I love you. Okay, bye-bye.